Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The President of the Supreme Council for Health and the head of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid a visit to the new testing center for COVID-19 at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in Sakhir. The opening of the center was attended by the Minister of Health, Faiq al Saleh, and various members of the task force and the health sector. The President prayed the support of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to ensure the safety and health of all citizens and residents. He said that the new center is intended to increase the testing capacity and to decrease waiting time for vaccination as part of the national efforts to combat the pandemic as per the guidelines of the WHO. He added that the center is equipped as per the highest medical standards. The president affirmed that the plans to deal with the pandemic are being carried out quickly thanks to the efforts of the health cadres and the high level of cooperation between various parties in the Kingdom of Bahrain following the WHO's guidelines. He concluded by affirming the importance of observing all precautionary measures and directives as issued by the relevant medical personnel to keep social healthy, society healthy and safe. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, participated in the second session of the ministerial meeting for Arab Japanese political dialogue, which was held remotely with the participation of Arab foreign ministers, the Japanese foreign minister, and the Secretary General of the Arab League. Dr. Zayani delivered a speech in which he affirmed the political and economic position of Japan and praised the relations between Arab countries and Japan. He affirmed the importance to further enhance these relations in all fields in order to overcome all challenges, exchange political views and achieve stability, especially for the Palestinian people. Dr. Zayani highlighted the Middle East region is going through a number of challenges, including conflicts among Arab countries such as Syria, Yemen and Libya, as well as the threat of terrorism, foreign interference in Arab affairs. He affirmed that efforts are ongoing to achieve peace and stability, including the efforts of Saudi Arabia to reach a ceasefire in Yemen. The Minister of the Regional and International Cooperation in the field of maritime security and energy is important, and it should receive great care and attention. He noted that terrorist acts in the Middle East region since 2019 to obstruct oil supplies and target oil tankers and installations represents a serious threat to energy security, regional and international peace and security, and it requires the international community to assume its full responsibilities towards these practices. The minister added that the Kingdom of Bahrain is following with great interest all the relentless efforts being made to stop the spread of weapons of mass destruction, including nuclear weapons. He stressed the need to constructive cooperation in order to strengthen international peace and security and subjecting all nuclear programs and activities in all countries to the supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency in order to ensure security and stability. The minister then affirmed the importance of cooperation and exchange of expertise to overcome the coronavirus pandemic and alleviate its impacts on the economic, social and health levels. He expressed hope that this meeting will further enhance the Arab-Japanese joint cooperation in order to achieve common goals. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in celebrating International Autism Awareness Day. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, affirmed the ministry's keenness to continue providing services for autistic people. This year's celebration is an opportunity to confirm Bahrain's keenness as an effective partner in developing and implementing plans and programs to ensure awareness of autism cases through community partnership and support for national efforts to make society able to meet the needs of this group of children and work to integrate them in various areas of life. Health Minister Faiq al-Saleh hailed the efforts of all frontliners, hailing their tremendous efforts to combat the pandemic and protect people's health and safety. She congratulated all staff, health staff after the Geneva-based World Health Organization declared the 2021 as International Year of Health and Care Workers. The WHO tribute is an appreciation of the commitment and dedication of all healthcare workers around the globe as they continue to fight the pandemic. She paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing the royal directives that supported frontliners and earned Bahrain international praise. She also lauded the constant support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al 
Khalifa. The minister met health employees working at COVID-19 test, quarantine and treatment centers and inspected services being delivered as part of the international efforts to combat the pandemic. Saleh paid a visit to the new vaccination center which was opened in Citra Mall to bolster national efforts to combat the pandemic and support health safety. The issuance of the Sports Professionalism Law represents an advanced step in the history of Bahrain sports as it will give it a great space to develop its administrative and technical systems. The law, which was approved by His Majesty the King after being approved by the Shura and Representatives Councils, indicates the unlimited support that the sports sector enjoys from His Majesty and will work to create all the ideal conditions for the affiliates of this sector in order to achieve the technical administrative development of all sports and pave the way to raising Bahrain's balance from sports achievements at various levels. In addition, it will enhance the sports movement through a law that guarantees the sports system its rights, duties and creating further achievements. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 510,877 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 255,440 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 8,609 with 837 recoveries, 871 registered new cases and two deaths. 249 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 600 are contacts of active cases and 22 are travel related. The deceased were 37-year-old and 83-year-old citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. Thank you.